Welcome back to my YouTube channel everybody. I am planning a bit of a bathroom renovation and I'm going to be doing it in my ensuite which a couple of you have asked because I have mentioned it but I don't think I've ever actually shown my ensuite to YouTube and that is because I want to give it a bit of a renovation. It has great potential but at the moment it's just looking a bit Nah. I've never done a big project like this and I'm going to share my kind of journey with you so I'm going to show you like the before and um, so you can have a look at the very bad before and um, a bit of a clutter area. I'm going to share how I get inspiration and give you some ideas on where to get inspiration and then I'm going to share how to make a mood board. I've put together like a mood board and then I'm going to chat about like the next step. So where I'm gonna go from there. So we're getting contractors and things like that. So if you are kind of like me and you're like, I wanna tackle a project, but I don't know where to start. I don't know any plumbers. I don't know what to do. Then I hope you can get some inspiration from this video and then follow along with the progress. So let's get into the before, don't judge. But here's what it's looking like before. I'm also gonna put timestamps if you wanna skip ahead. So let me give you a look at the ensuite. This is why you don't see it because it is basically a storage room-ish and I come in here in the middle of the night to pee and that's it. I have never used this shower. I am going to move this stuff out of the way so I can show you. Um, I'll move the clutter. So this shower runs off the main water supply. It's not an electric shower. I have one of them in the other rooms, which I suppose it'd be grand in winter because you've always kind of got warm winter or warm water in winter. But I'm not sure if I'll get a second electric, but we will get to that. Then I just have, um, I think behind here is pipe work, I think. Um, I actually don't know what's in there. And we've got a sink and then we've got a toilet and down here we have some bad like plumbing that is not anything nasty on the floor. It is, it's like filler. I'll zoom in. It's like, yeah, filler that needs to be like sanded off the tile. But hopefully we may have some new tiles in here. And then what else have I got? I have a piece of furniture here that I, again, it's just here for storage. I think I'm gonna sell it because I don't have anywhere else for it in my home. Um, I love it, but yeah, I don't. it's not like practical or ideal. So this is a look at the room. We've got a pink door, leads into the bedroom. Grand big wall here, and then the shower. Now you see this ugly wall? I would love to demolish this ugly wall. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move all of this stuff out just so you can have a better look at like the floor space and get an idea of how it's gonna look. Oh, we got some crazy hair and hair on the lens. Blondie must be at the, the camera again. What I would love to do in this house, and maybe it was like more economical to build a wall for the shower, I would love to demolish this. It's a, um, I don't want to knock on the wall in case my neighbors are like, yeah, right. Um, it's just like a chibi body kind of wall, um, but inside is tiled. So you'd have to do a nice, there's something therapeutic about removing tiles. Chisel hammer, bang, bang, bang. Um, I would love this to just be glass. And then a glass front or like a door or something or some sort of like walk-in, like shower, like a wet room. I'm not sure of the terms. Um, but I would love to get rid of this. I don't think it's like a supporting wall but I would obviously have to get a contractor to check that and get advice on that but I would love the shower to be nice and open and like 
when you're sitting on the toilet, you're just staring at a white wall. <laughs> yeah, at least if I was staring at some tiles. <laughs> It might be a bit better. So that would be my goal for the shower. Now, I do have lots of floor space. Um, and as I've cleaned out the stuff, I'm like, actually, this room has a lot of potential. I have a nice V-Lux. The one thing this room is missing, and I don't know why, is a towel rail or a radiator. There's no heating in this room. Now, I suppose it doesn't bother me when I don't use it because it's right beside the bedroom that has two radiators. So the bedroom is warm. Um, I do notice when it's really cold outside, it is cold in here, but during the day it's fine because you're getting the sunlight through the window. I'm going to show you how I get inspiration, make a mood board. I do want to spend a bit on this because like bathrooms are expensive. Now that I'm looking at the floor, I'm like, do you know what, the floor isn't that bad. There is one cracked tile over there, but not the end of the world. If I can spend on getting the shower I really want with the tiles I really like, then I think I would be happy. I also would love one of those um, cabinet sinks. So a sink that sits on top and it's a cabinet on the bottom just to give me some storage. But I'm tight on space, which I'll show you. We've got like here to here. So, I don't know, there should kind of be some breathing space between the toilet and the sink. So, I don't know, I may get some advice and they may say like rearrange. So, as you can see, I can't go too crazy with like the bathrooms and then you also have the wall rising up because it's on a bungalow. I don't know if you can see, but we have one seriously dirty window. I better clean that. Now I'm gonna talk about inspiration, where to get it, and how to kind of put it together to get some ideas. Now I'm gonna be using Pinterest, but I also get like inspiration from like other people's bathrooms. Obviously we're in Ireland, we're at home at the moment, but hotel bathrooms, great inspiration, especially fancy hotel. Not that I'd be in a fancy hotel, but um, if you ever need a little wee, <laughs> go to a hotel bathroom. They normally have lovely ones, or you can go to showrooms as well. But if you're at home like myself, I'm gonna show you my Pinterest board, and then I'm gonna show you how to turn that into a mood board. So let's go to my computer screen. Okay, so the first place we're gonna go is to Pinterest, but again, you can use any kind of social media platform, but I just find when it comes for like interior projects, I find Pinterest is quite good. So this is my Pinterest account, and then I'm gonna go to Ensuite Bathroom Project. This board is public, so you can go and check it out. So you can create a Pinterest board, which is essentially a mood board, but you've got loads of things that you can like choose from, loads of images and similar images will pop up. So I divided my board into sections. So I have a shower section, I have tap inspiration, sink inspiration, tiles, and then like styling and accessories. So for example, let's click into tiles. These are all of the things that I, these are all of the things that like my eye was naturally drawn to for inspiration for what I would like in my bathroom. So I may not necessarily want this look for my bathroom on this green one here, but I really like the herringbone pattern of the tile on the back. You'll notice that as I'm pinning pictures, they're kind of like, there's lots of similarities, um, which is a great way of finding your style. My best tip for finding your own kind of personal style is to go onto these kind of websites and just pick pictures that you're naturally drawn to. So the, they might not necessarily go with like your house or whatever, but just pick the things you're naturally drawn to. And then when you put them all together, you can kind of be like, oh, okay, I like a brick tile or I like a herringbone because you have kept pinning that. And that's why then when you make a mood board, you can just narrow down your kind of like what you want, but it's a good way if you don't know where to start, just start looking at the things that you, you like. Don't worry about like thinking ahead and being like, oh my God, how can I have that? And just pick the things you like, put them in a place and then you can look over them and be like, yeah, okay, it's the color I'm drawn to, it's the texture, it's the shape of the tile. Um, and that's where you will start to kind of begin with finding out what you like basically. But that is the Pinterest board. I'm going to leave a link if you want to go and check it out, but that is kind of like my best tip. And another thing as well, so for example, 
if I click like this image here, also all of the links to the original content creators for these images will be on Pinterest. So if you click this, it will bring you to like the website. So if you scroll down, it will be like more like this. So this is where you can find kind of like even more inspiration. So like here's another one here and you can pin these to your board. So let's say you might like this rug. Um, I can go, on sweet bathroom project and I can pop it into the styling and accessories section and then you can just keep building up your board I will say try and organize them into like taps sinks things like that and um, it just makes it easier but try not to pin too much um, because you don't want to get overwhelmed but that is generally what I do when I'm looking for inspiration also upload your own pictures as well so um, I actually had one picture and it was like a bathroom when I was in Amsterdam Amsterdam. Now it was quite an industrial bathroom but one of the things I liked was it was in this um, like beams old building and they had this like white tile but they kept the like sort of texture of the beams and the wood so you can kind of incorporate like different styles and um, you'll notice from my mood board that I am still kind of drawn to like neutral um, and I'll talk a bit about that at the end as to kind of like my why for that as well. So now we are going to make a mood board. So to make a mood board I am going to be using Canva. You can use Photoshop or any other kind of like photo editing software. I just like Canva because they have lots of like templates so you can type on top mood board and like lots of templates will pop up. Now I'm gonna click into the one I have made, but if you type mood board, you'll get lots of templates that you can just use. So I'm going to scroll, scroll, scroll down. Um, and here is my mood board. So this mood board will be on my website. So if you want to see this in more detail, I am gonna put this up on my blog. So don't worry, you can kind of like have a look and hey, you can maybe copy it if you like it. So. I've got six pages for this and this is just um, handy, you know, if I'm going to be going to like visit um, bath showrooms, it just keeps me on track. So here's my inspiration. I have a page for the before, so I've just popped in some before images. So again, if I'm going to kind of like a showroom, um, maybe I like, you know, this effect or this effect, but I don't have the space to have like cabin cabinetry. Um, so I just popped in some before pictures and I also need to pop in a box with the measurements as well. That might be handy to have. So I have then put together like a board for tile inspiration. So after looking at all of the pins, um, I'm definitely in love with the herringbone shaped tile. Um, I'm also drawn to a color. So you'll notice that there is a colored tile, but there's like neutral cabinets um, and like white as well. So I could do it the opposite way and go for like a white herringbone and then have this color as like wall paint. So that's also like an option. So this is what I am in love with. I'm in love with the kind of brick herringbone tile. I created a board for my shower. So as you'll see in the before picture that my shower um, has the wall and I would love to have like something like this where it could just be glass and I walk into it. So something like this here, I'm not sure the logistics of how I can achieve that, but I'm hoping that by talking to people and contractors, I will be able to kind of achieve this. So in this picture as well, it's like a nice open glass feel to the shower. So I have some sink inspiration here. I would like to have a cabinet sink because it would give me some storage. There's actually no storage in the bathroom at the moment unless I was to add like a piece of furniture, um, but there's no kind of like built in or anything like that. So this is what I love for the sinks. I love the like wood cabinetry and this and I think would add a bit of warmth to the room. I also love this, even though I can't have that in my space. Having that on my mood board, if I was to find something that was even like half the size of that in width, I may still be able to achieve this look, but just on a different piece. So another option I loved was this gold. Let me see if I can zoom in. Another thing I love was this gold um, exposed pipe. So another option is if I can't have the kind of cabinet to make the room look a bit bigger, I could do like exposed piping. And one of the things that I have pinned a lot as well is like gold taps and gold pipework. Um, so I think that would be one of the key points um, I'll be doing in the room. 
So then last up, I just have like styling and accessories. And one of the things I want is um, on the wall nearest the door, I would like to have a long full length mirror because it means I could get rid of the full length mirror that's in my bedroom and give me more space. Um, I will zoom on, in on this as well. So I love the idea of the gold or bronze uh, mirror and accessories. I love the wicker basket. So I don't necessarily like this exact basket. I don't like the stamping on it, but I love the actual shape of the basket and I love the color. So for, in terms of accessories, these are kind of the colors that I want and that I can use to warm up this space. So this one here, I absolutely love like the pink flowers. I love how there is open glasses. I don't necessarily love that it's a silver stand, but I love all of the little trinkets and styling on it. So that's what's given me the inspiration. So. I've got six pages for mine, but you can add more. You could do one for taps. I just didn't want mine to be too kind of overwhelming. But by looking at this mood board, I have like a clear idea of what I kind of want. Another way you can make a mood board is good old fashioned magazines, cutting them up, get a print stick out, glue it all together, make this actual physical board. You can totally do that. Um, I'll go on the digital route because if I do get to go into like a showroom um, or go somewhere, like if I'm just going to like B&Q or something, um, it's nice to have that like on your phone, but if you have like an iPad or something, you can also share that mood board if you're going to be working with like a designer. So if you, if you get to the stage where you've sought inspiration, you've made a mood board, but you would want to get professional like help. And um, if you're doing a consultation with an interior designer, I think it's really good to have a mood board. So then they're not mind reading. So you can be like, this is what I like. This is my space. Now help me. So I think even if you are going to be working with an interior designer, do make a mood board because that way I think you're going to get more value for your money. So you've made your mood board, you've gotten your inspiration and you want to go ahead with the project. So now we get to the point where it's like, where to next? Where to next? So there's two kind of big options. Um, one option is going to a, like a bathroom showroom and it's probably gonna be more expensive, but less hassle. So basically you go in, um, and I'm speaking for Ireland because I don't know if this is the same elsewhere, but you basically go into these kind of showrooms, you pick out the things you want, they have a look at your space, they arrange the contractors for you, and they have, when I was doing some research online, um, they essentially, oh, hang on, my screen is still recording. Hang on one sec. My screen was still recording as I was waffling. A lot of these were like advertising like the five day bathroom. So obviously you plan and you prep and then they say that it'll take them five days to do your bathroom. And I was like, well, cause if I was to try and even tile my bathroom, <laughs> it would take me like five weeks. Um, so that's an option. So you can go in with your mood board and then you get to walk around the lovely fancy showroom, touch tiles, match them all up and you have some help. So that's an option I'm considering. Um, but. I imagine it's gonna be more expensive. Then another option is from your mood board, you then go and you source the, all of the items yourself and then you can go and find like a plumber and a tiler and they will kind of do it for you. I imagine that could be a bit cheaper because you're not gonna be paying fancy showroom prices. So for example, you know you want gold taps, gold shower fittings. I know I want them herringbone tiles. There's nothing stopping me go, going and shopping online for them or going to like builder providers um, and buying all of the items that I need and then getting the contractor and saying, demolish my um, shower, fit this, getting quotes off different people and then you can get like a cheaper price. So that's kind of two options. Go buy all the materials yourself, source your contractors um, and get quotes from different ones or go to the fancy showroom and let them organize it. But the pros and cons is the budget. So budget, I was Googling bathrooms, <laughs> renovation costs in Ireland. Um, it's hard to get an exact price. Some of them were saying like three to 5,000, which I think is pretty average. Now what I did do was I started just looking at prices. So like tiles per square foot. And um, I was looking at like, 
the shower fitting so like glass panels I was just having a rough kind of price and I can 100% see how it would quickly add up to a good five grander like and um, you can obviously look for secondhand items as well another thing to factor in is if you are shopping and you're like okay all of my materials is only like two grand you're obviously gonna have to factor in the cost of labor and that can be a significant because I mean it's like anything to do with kitchens and bathrooms and plumbing and tiling and floors and just you're looking at money baby and um, but rightly so because it's a trade like it's I mean can you go and demolish your bathroom so that's kind of I would love to do this bathroom for I'm gonna say three grand and saying that I'm like I have never girls if you have watched my channel <laughs> I have never spent that much in my house because my house is like I'm a thrifty handy girl I paint them walls myself I upcycle a piece of furniture I reseal my own bathtub so to drop 3k potentially five I don't think it's I'm not spending five I'm not spending five but like three um that makes me be like whoa <laughs> I sound really miserable and mean but I'm just like that's a holiday that's a serious holiday but hey I haven't been able to go on holidays because of all this so we can spend it and my last little tip is so I am going to be playing it relatively safe with my bathroom makeover in the terms of I'm not going to be doing crazy tiling and mad colours because if I'm spending that amount of money on my home it's going to add value to my home if it's done in a slightly neutral tasteful way I can add my own stamp with accessories and like maybe a coloured cabinet or something but when it comes to the expensive stuff like tiling, shower um, and things like that I'm going to play it a little bit safe because I don't know probably not this house is not my forever home, and um, but it will be my like long-term home. But there will come a time where I will sell this on, and I want to add value to it. And sometimes when you have like hot pink crazy tiles, <laughs> although they're really nice, and um, keep them for your forever home. Um, and do just have that kind of in the back of your mind. I mean, I know I have a pink kitchen, but I can quickly paint that to be neutral again if I needed to sell the house. But I can't quickly flip the tiles to be neutral if I need to change them. So just a little tip if it is kind of your first home and you are planning to, you know, move and sell on. So just think about adding value to the house and then you can add your own personal stamp kind of in other ways. Now my last kind of talking point and this is my last one is how am I going to do this in a pandemic and what is my time frame? So I am being realistic. Um, Ireland is still in level five and as of today, February 22nd, um, it's looking like it's going to be likely to be extended. There is no non-essential work to be done on your house. So you can't, um, unless it's an emergency, you can't get contractors into your house. However, I am going to see how I can get some help with this project and I might even reach out to see what exactly are the likes of the showrooms doing. So are they doing free quotes? Um, are they doing online consultations? Um, can you maybe book in a contractor for down the line? Um, there's nothing stopping me like, you know, shopping for the items and having them ready. Um, or getting a consultation from someone. So I think that's gonna be my next step is getting a consultation and starting to kind of book things in to have it done. So in my head, I'm thinking this will be a summer project because that is when it's likely that restrictions are going to be like lifted for the likes of this. So I think it's a good time if you are planning a project a lot of people skip the planning stage um, and the planning is the most important so if you have the luxury right now of the time to plan a project whether it's like kitchen bathroom bedroom um generally like a smaller like like if it's a bedroom generally if it's like just a lick of paint and an upcycle piece of furniture I rarely do a big plan like this but when I'm spending money <laughs> A plan. <laughs> I hope this helps you if you are gonna tackle a project. Like I said, I'm a newbie to this 
and I'm gonna share kind of like my next step whenever my next step is. It may be later in the year, um, it might be sooner. So I am going to share that with you and then hopefully we will have a sexy ensuite bathroom with no storage and no clutter, with herringbone tiles and a sexy floor and gold taps and I will be sitting on my throne having a wee going, this is a beautiful bathroom. <laughs> Anyway, cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Those pictures will be over on my website and I'll have a link to my Pinterest as well where you can check out all of those pins individually. So cheeky thumbs up and I will see you in next week's video.